Hi everyone, so today I have a classic smoky eye makeup tutorial for you guys and I thought it was really good timing for the prom season so to start with this makeup look I'm per first going to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in medium dark warm and this is just going to create a really nice canvas for our eyeshadow to go on and I'm going to take my Smashbox full exposure palette and grab this pale brownie shade I don't know how to call it to set that concealer then this more taupey brownie shade to use as my transition color and then once I'm done with that I am going to grab the more warm tone brown it's like a dark brown and I feel like this goes really well with black so I'm just using this as my crease color and just gonna kind of bring it up Woods and as you go up you want to use less pressure so it creates that really nice transition and I'm also using the brush that came with the palette and it's actually a really really good palette it picks up the color really really well um, and yeah I'm, I'm obsessed with this palette the shadows are so so pigmented so as you can see I'm just blending away and then I'm going to grab the black shade and I'm just going to pack this color on feel free to use your fingers um, or a flat shader brush to just pack that color on um, you could also use eyeliner to use as your base so the black is even more intense but I was really happy with the black in this palette anyway so what I just did is just kept packing it on and packing it on until I was happy with the finish of it and as you can see here I'm using my fingers right now I'm just using the Sigma buffing brush the buffer brush I think that's what it's called and I'm just making sure that it blends into the brown really nicely and what I like to do, I took the brown again and really warmed up the crease. As you can see here, it's, it's looking even warmer. And I actually really, really like when a smoky eye um, has a really warm crease. I don't know why, but yeah. And then here, I'm just curling my eyelashes. I also did um, clean up all the fallout because there was a ton. So make sure you do this before your foundation. And here I'm using the NYX two-timer pencil. I think this is what it's called, but it will written, be written down in the info box. And I'm just quickly tight lining and lining my lower waterline and just applying a bunch of mascara as always. You can always um, use falsies, but I just decided to not do falsies because I'm running out of them, but yeah. So onto my skin, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream and just pressing this into my skin so that my skin's nice and hydrated. And then for foundation, I'm going to grab my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Tan and just dab this all over my skin. But before I blend everything out, I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown Peach dark peach or peach corrector and I actually really like this to correct the darkness around my mouth it doesn't make it look ashy which is kind of nice I don't really like it under the eyes but around my mouth or area it works really well and I'm just gonna dab this on quickly before my foundation and blend all my foundation with my beauty blender For concealer, I took the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Nude, but it was kind of light, so then I grabbed my Toffee Concealer by LA Girl, it's a Pro Concealer, Pro concealer and just mixed, mixed that in and blended the two with my Beauty Blender again. And to set that concealer, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder and really pack that under my eyes. And I also set whatever was rest on the right, left on the brush. Gosh, I can never speak when I do voiceovers, but I just took whatever was rest on left on the brush and set all my makeup in. Get it together, Nushka. Gosh, what's wrong with me? So then for bronzer, I'm grabbing the Makeup Forever Bronze Pro Fusion bronzer i think that's what it's called in the shade caramel 35i and just warming up my skin and kind of like bronzing up my face And then for blush, I'm using this NYX blush called Intuition and I'm just packing that on my cheeks. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use my trusted highlighter which is the Becca Champagne Pop and just packing that onto my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and basically everywhere. And here I'm just lining my lower lash line with some black eyeshadow from the palette and also kind of fixing it up with the NYX Coal Pencil that I used earlier on. And then I just put some mascara on my lower lashes as always. And 
And I also decided to highlight my inner corner using the highlighter, the Champagne Pop one, and I think it really finished the eye makeup look. And then for my lips, I'm just lining my lips and kind of filling them in, in with the Rimmel Tiramisu lip liner. And then I just used the L'Oreal lip gloss in 110. But like I said, all the products will be listed in the info box. I don't know why I didn't show some of them because I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah, that's the finished look. I really hope you guys liked this smoky eye makeup tutorial. It was very requested by you guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. I love you guys and I will see you next time.